Oh, I'm just trying to get their side of the story. Uh, uh, they don't want to give the story, so. They don't want to. Okay. No. Okay. This is odd that the police are, is doing the talking for the people at the mosque. I, I, I don't understand. So, do you guys mind getting off the this property? David, uh, you yes, sir. Here, yeah. Probably I would be arrested in here. Are you serious? Yeah. David Menzies for Rebel News here in York Region, and I'm outside the Mahdi Mosque on Bayview Avenue, and I am with Nasser Pooley. Now, you might remember Nasser, we first met him doing a counter protest to the pro Soleimani uh, vigil that took place last month in Toronto, if you can believe it. Yeah, people in Toronto were coming out to mourn the passing of a. Uh, a terrorist. Nasser, you allege that the people that go to this mosque are actually pro-Iranian regime, is that correct? Most of them are pro-Iranian regime. Terrorist supporters, in my opinion, is no different than terrorists themselves. As soon as you say something, oh, he's Islamophobia. I'm not Islamophobia. I don't care what your religion is. My problem is when you are supporting the terrorist regime that has been terrorized the whole world and has killed our innocent people, they shut down the airplane. Innocent people on the air, innocent, innocent young children, they shut them down in the streets of the Tehran, Shiraz, Isfahan, all the cities in Iran. It's sniper shots. That is I am demonstrating against. Oh, sorry, sir? Did anyone park in that lot? Uh, yes. Can you guys move your cars? They're going to tow them. Oh, okay. Just move your cars. You can come right back. You just can't park there. That, that's the synagogue lot. Yeah, they, they call the they oh, called the police that to remove our cars? Well, they wanted us to give you a warning and then the other will move the cars. I live in Richmond Hill. There is a huge um, Iranian uh, minority in Richmond Hill. All of the Iranians I've ever met in Richmond Hill, with the exception of Liberal MP Majid Jawari, are anti-regime. They came to Canada for a better life. They were fleeing the Iranian regime. So who are these other Iranians that are coming to Canada, but they support the world's biggest state sponsor of terrorism. They rob Iranian people's wealth, money, bring them to Canada, and unfortunately to Canadian government, like you are a Canadian, Dave, so am I. When we go to bank, if we want to deposit 10,000 or we want to withdraw 10,000 our own money, we have to fill up a paperwork for Revenue Canada. And I'm wondering, when they come with uh, millions of millions of dollars to Canada, how come the Canadian uh, government doesn't question that? It's kind of funny. Um, these protesters are on a sidewalk. They never once set a single foot upon the private property of the mosque, and yet law enforcement came uh, so quickly. I'm just asking you to stay off the property. That's, that's it. Yeah. You know... I think I speak for millions of Canadians right now. We'd sure like to see law enforcement enact those court injunctions uh, on, in terms of those protesters near railroad tracks that are right now crippling the economy. But as it's not news, I suppose, but it is reality, there seems to be a two-tier system in this country when it comes to law enforcement. Nasser, can you possibly explain to our viewers how we actually have a Liberal MP in Canada? I mentioned his name earlier, Majid Johari, who represents the riding of Richmond Hill, and he is pro-Iranian regime. I mean, I, I find this staggering that there's somebody in any Western democracy, especially given that last month, as you know, 57 Canadians died in that Ukrainian airline crash. Um, how is it possible that somebody who is sympathetic to this terroristic regime is a member of the Canadian Parliament? Uh, Iranian government has infiltrated in all the countries. But our government officials' uh, eyes are blind. They are not seeing where is it coming from. This is a wish of Khomeini to infiltrate Western world, which uh, through the MPs, through their uh, police stations, through the, anything that government has to do, they are doing it with the money that they have. Average person cannot infiltrate the way they have. They have infiltrated and they are, is, uh, Canada unfortunately is, is start showing that infiltration. There are signs that they are coming out. When I asked Majid Johari, why did you sit with the MPs 
from Iranian regime. He said, because they are Iranian, they came, they wanted to talk to me. He says, oh, I am an MP only for Richmond Hill, when it came to tough questions. But when you go sit down as a Canadian MP in one table, same table, with the Iranian regime MPs, then it affects me. I want to know what was the deal exactly. The deal, only thing I can assume, that there is a lot of uh, speculation that there is a gentleman got uh, uh, assassinated in Turkey, Masoud Molavi. This was the source for the journalist that exposed yes. Johari. He exposed that uh, uh, he didn't even know who the Johari is, but he was indicating that he had sit down with uh, MPs, he had a affiliation, he has money supporting from Iranian regime and all that. You know, Nasser, I think you speak of a, an even bigger question. What are we doing in Canada? As you know, we have uh, rail blockades that are bringing the economy to a grinding halt. These are illegal rail blockades. There has been court injunctions ordered. And the police at every level is not enforcing the law. Does this sadden you in terms of you getting any kind of support on law enforcement on the political side to further your cause? Uh, I, to be honest with you, I don't want the support, never mind the support, but they, they have arrested me right in here. My first time I was arrested in here because of speaking out. I was arrested. What was the charge? Charge was uh, criminal harassment. And when it went to court, judge got up, Judge Justin from York Regional Police got up front of the crown. He said, I take off my head for this young man. I wish we had more people like this in, the, in, in Canada. Well, folks, you can see there's a couple of police cruisers, a police pickup truck, too. I, I don't see many of those on the street. Maybe they're going to whack and sack these protesters. Who knows? But, you know, I advance on to this property with a little trepidation. I do want to hear what the people at the mosque have to say about these allegations. And, uh, of course, the last time I had an interaction with York Regional Police, it was last month at Rogers Hometown Hockey. Uh, evidently, it's against the law to uh, ask Ron McLean impolite questions. I wonder if that kind of uh, mindset applies to the people at this mosque. Well, we'll find out. Oh, hi there, sir. How you doing? Very good. You guys are more than welcome to be here. You just can't be on the property. Oh, we were actually going to go and uh, speak to somebody with the mosque to find out uh, if they... They'll come down to interview you, but... Uh, oh, I can't ask them that myself, no, officer. He doesn't want you guys on the property. So. Oh, who's that? That guy there in the black coat. Okay, because the allegations are that this mosque uh, supports... Oh, okay. You guys are more than welcome to be here. You just can't be on the property, okay? Oh, okay, but uh, I, I, fine. I, I'm just trying to get their side of the story. Uh, uh, they don't want to give the story, so. They don't want to. Okay. No. okay. This is odd that the police are, is doing the talking for the people at the mosque. I, I, I don't understand. So, do you guys mind getting off the this property? Okay, then. Uh, by the way, one last question, officer. Why, why are you so quick to do the bidding of the people at this mosque where just, we have... I'm I, I know, but we, just arrived we're just here. Here we don't know the details yet. With this particular mosque, wanted to go on camera and give their side of the story. And uh, they sent out their, uh, well, I guess their makeshift public relations spokesman, uh, that being an officer uh, wearing the uniform of the York Regional Police who was actually doing their talking for them. Ultimately, what I want to see, I want to see Mr. Trudeau is stop playing uh, to side of a game. Mr. Trudeau. Stop going to this mosque and keep saying assalamu alaikum, assalamu alaikum. Doesn't impress me as a Canadian. Mr. Trudeau, stop standing under the table in the Iranian regime side. I want Mr. Trudeau come out strongly to condemn this Iranian regime, terrorist regime, RIGC, all their members in Canada. I want them to be deported from Canada. Terrorist supporters has no place in Canada. I want all their assets to be seized in Canada, to be returned to true Iranian people, not to Iranian regime. 
these people are a terrorist supporters and terrorist supporters are no different than terrorists themselves. And I want the Mr. Trudeau to guarantee my kids future in Canada. I want my kids are Canadian. So am I. And I want the Mr. Trudeau to defend the Canadians, not Iranian regime supporters, that they are terrorists, that they come to Canada under the uh, so many different under business, under with the money, with Stop playing game with Canadian's life, Mr. Trudeau. So th this is bizarre. Somebody, I, I presume, that is connected with the mosque is now talking to the police officer. He was waving at me and I was making body language. Do you want me to come over there? I didn't want to trespass without permission. I kind of interpret his waving as um, there, there's a mocking vibe to it that he's showing us, look, um, we can call the police and they'll do our bidding at the uh, at the drop of a phone call and uh, yeah, sorry I can't help but notice there is another flag that's bigger than the Canadian flag and it's on top of the uh, Canadian flag which I believe is a breach of protocol do you have any idea what that flag uh, symbolizes here at this mosque I honestly don't know my first time uh, I have come in here I I cannot read the reading on it what does it mean okay. but I cannot believe that Canadian flag would be under that flag that is a shame, that is a hypocrisy, and that's a basically a disgrace for Canada. As it's not news, I suppose, but it is reality, there seems to be a two-tier system in this country when it comes to law enforcement. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, have you heard the news? Rebel News is going on a cruise. Go to rebelnewscruise.com, find out all the details, and I hope to see you in July as we head north to Alaska.